So in this video I will show you how to find your Steam ID. So the easiest way to find your Steam ID is by launching a game, opening console, and typing status. So if we launch CSGO and join a server, we should be able to find our Steam ID. So you pr if you press the Delta key and type status, first you should have your Steam ID. Perfect. Here, so you just copy this here, highlight and copy with right click, right click and copy. And then you should have your Steam ID. If you don't have a uh, console working, the way to enable it is if you go to game settings. And enable developer console. You have to have the CS. Then you just press the tilde key. It's right next to the one key above the tab key and below the escape key. And just type status. Since we're not connecting connected to a server, it, sh it won't give us any information. So we just have to copy your Steam ID and save it. I just saved it in this notepad. That's one method. If you, the next method, if you just launch Steam and go to your username or whatever name you put as your player, and then go to profile, then right click the copy page URL, or you could also copy this URL. If you don't have this, you need to go to Steam settings interface and enable this option here display Steam URL address bar when available. If you don't have it enabled, you don't, you don't have an address here when you go to profile. So you just have to enable it. Enable this option here. And it should show up. You could either copy that or right click. And then you would go to either Steam ID Finder, Steam ID IO, Steam ID .co, or you could do Steam ID EU. And just paste it here. And you should be able to find your Steam ID. The one I pasted here is a custom Steam URL. So to change your Steam URL is you go to your name, profile, edit profile. And then you look for custom URL. So this is just an easy way of giving out to your friends your URL. So you would just copy this and clean it with the custom name. And then you would save it. The only problem with this is if you put a custom URL, you won't be able to revert back to the default. You know, the default is this, like a bunch of numbers. If you put a custom name, you won't be able to have it blank. So if you try to try to reset it, you know, make it the default ID numbers and save it, you'll get an error. You know, there was an error setting the custom URL, so once you do this you can't go back. So if if you don't want to put like a custom URL, you don't have to. Just leave it alone, just leave it blank and don't save it. Don't put anything here. And then here the URL will, be, will just be like a bunch of numbers. If you put something here and save it, then it'll end up here. You have to stay with the custom Steam URL. Can't revert to the regular one. So we could either take the default URL or this custom name and just copy it. Just paste it here, it should still work. So you have to use the default ID number. Still get the Steam ID. You can either go to here too. It should still work. This you could also find on this website, you could find the Steam ID 3, you know, Steam ID 64, there's different kinds of ID numbers here. And then you could find your link to your profile. So there's like similar websites here you could go through. 
gives you, you know, similar information. Also this website, steamid.ed.eu. So it gives you, you know, Steam ID, Steam 3, Community ID, and your custom sort URL. You could always change this. And then you could also, if you have your Steam ID or anyone's Steam ID, you could also Google them. And then you could find them on this website, Steam Rep. You could see, you know, their list of friends, whether if they've been banned or not, if you have, this person has like a ban record. Or you could either find the Steam ID by just going through your browser and logging in. So it's the same process. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.